You didn't want children on the first date, so <laughs> things are changing. Yeah, but I'm talking about with other people. Oh, with other. Oh, you yes, so you want yes. children with other people? Yeah. <laughs> Green turtle. Can you pronounce your little French name? Celonia Midas. You know that already. Yes. yes. <laughs> So, I am on my way to my third date with Andrew, it's progressing and I have to say my hair is really cooperating today, so just for the record, because I'm about to get on the tram and then on the ferry and it's probably gonna look horrible by the time I arrive in Manby where we are gonna meet, so yeah, just for the record, my hair is awesome for now. <laughs> he just parked he was driving here so let's see let's find him okay so he said cross the street and we meet near the fountain ah i found him hello <laughs> date number three meaningful. i know i right? said meet by the fountain and this is not a fountain it's something it's a fountain. i know little spouts of water in the floor then, so. okay yeah i guess yeah okay so, i would stop filming now this is private isn't it it's private yeah okay. Okay, so we're here eating. It's not a picture, it's a video. Long smile Stop. for the video. <laughs> so we're here at my favorite burger place, this one, Ben Bryce, and we are having my favorite burger. So what, what do you think? Have you gotten to the? I haven't got to the tofu Okay, yet, let's no. try. Do, do it. Do it now. Do it for the camera. <laughs> Tastes like healthy tofu fried in something not healthy, delicious. Exactly. Like it. See, yeah. See, I told you. Look. <laughs> Say something meaningful. The meaning of life. Is yeah. What you see down there. Lizards. The waves. Other waves. And welcome back to the tsunami warning. Here at Shelby Beach. <laughs> These are our last seconds. So <clears throat> we did get a little bit, a little bit rained on. A little bit. A so little bit. we walked up Shelby Beach to overlook the ocean, and there's some surfers out there. Really big waves from the storm. Then we walked down to the rocks here to watch the surfers, and it started raining. And this is what you have to know about Sydney: when there's a 10% chance of rain, what's bound to happen? It's definitely going to rain. 2% chance of rain, it's going to rain. So but it never was trust the weather forecast. But it was 7%. What does 7% mean? It means it's going to rain. <laughs> so that's why I always have this pocket umbrella yes, that fits yes. in my back pocket. Expands out, works really well. Was it in your back pocket the whole time? Yeah. So I hate carrying things. So if I have a backpack, I put it in there. If not, it just fits in my back pocket. Oh, and click the link in the description for <laughs> Andrew's umbrellas. You still haven't even started the channel, have you? I'm still Confess. trying to get the name perfect. Ah. Uh -huh. So in the last couple of days, she's still pressing me to edit our first date footage when you're on like date number uh -huh. four edited. <laughs> and uh, I was editing the introduction or the opening sequence to my documentary. So that's what I've been working on. That's what's been taking up my Premiere Pro. And people say that it looks good. So, so I'll walk away budget. and give honest feedback on my uh, documentary. Did you actually like it? I, I, I loved it. Oh, look, um, turkeys. turkeys. Um, you have to show them the bush turkeys. Yes, yes, you do it. You're the cameraman. Can you see the bush turkeys in the... Yes. They're so weird. I remember when I saw them for the first time, I was like, what is this? I was a bit scared. I was like, and they're always digging. They're always busy digging something. Yeah. I had a little baby turkey one show up in the backyard and he was adorable. Oh, yeah, I've never seen a baby one. Okay. Walk, do you want to walk through the sand or no walking through the sand? Um, I, I, don't, I don't know. That was an undecisive <gasps> collection of noises. <laughs> 
So we were talking about your my yes. opening sequence to my <laughs> So yes, I <laughs> I love it. I think it's amazing. But you were changing the subject because we were talking about your channel and the footage of our first date. Oh, wait, before I forget. Yes. You said you wanted to give me feedback on the opening sequence of the documentary. Yes, didn't didn't I just do when I said that it's amazing? But then you say there's like but something else ah, when you're yes, at yes, eating. but it also really sucks no oh my god <laughs> see the truth comes out she no, can't lie no i will i will i will show you my hair oh my god um what did i want to say i wanted to say something but i forgot everything about the opening sequence confusing me no that i will show you or about how i'm changing the subject for my channel about you changing the subject from your channel that yes. you're supposed to so uh, what i'm worried about at this stage is that by the time you start working on the on the um first date footage that we are already like we hate each other and we are both married to different people and we have like five children and five children yes is that that is that what you're hearing? You didn't want children on the first date, so <laughs> things are changing. Yeah, but I'm talking about with other people. Oh, with other. Oh, you yes, so you want yes. children with other people? Yeah. Okay. Now, now I get it. So I'm saying, <clears throat> you're changing the subject again from you not editing our first date footage. But this is a big commitment, naming my channel. Okay. So it's bigger than. <laughs> So maybe we should ask my audience what, what should I name he my channel? should name his channel. And we want to, to eliminate this excuse, don't we? Because we want to see his footage. So if they could comment in the comment section below what the name of my channel should be. Yes, then you have no more excuse. Mm -hmm. Look at this little turkey. <laughs> I, I liked our shot of the, uh, the shadow on the, on the second date. Yes, first date. yes, first date, yes. Okay, so what should my channel be named and what should I post on there? So obviously it's well, date footage, but you also talk about other stuff, so... Yes, is date, it, date it like footage a... only of me or also of, of other dates that you've been on between during those days where I didn't see between you? Between the first date and the third date? Yes. Those other dates? Yes. Oh, I forgot to bring my camera those days. Oh. Yeah. yeah. It goes <clears> to me, so whatever. <laughs> They're lost. Is this yes. a baby? Aww. I think this is a baby. Oh, baby. <laughs> oh, there's so Little many here. There. Yours, your channel is mainly just like general life updates, right? Yes. And so you just happen to be there, but you're actually not really that important taking, for my channel. I'm taking up what, 25% of your channel at this point? No. 20 videos? Five videos with me? There are actually now six videos because you're talking about me before that. Ah, that's true. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, you're right. Twenty-five percent of your channel. Are you? Yeah. I need to make more videos where you are not absolutely not involved. Gambling. <coughs> yes. Tortoise machines. But and, we wanted to go together. Be then we'll be there. He's always there now. So just keep appearing. Okay. Can't get rid of me. So I'm asking my viewers now. How? Yeah. How do I get rid of him? Oh, we know. Mango skin. Mango skin. So I was moving into the granny flat that my ex moved out of. Yes. And there was a mango left there. Maybe that's a subconscious way of getting the mango skin to poison me. But you we'll survived. See. I didn't touch it yet, so. Uh, <laughs> but when you feel suicidal, then you just play with mangoes and you peel a few of them? I oh. don't feel suicidal, okay. but if I do, I'll remember the mangoes. Yeah, exactly. Okay, here, do you want to explain the fishes? It's a sign with fish on it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Do we eat them or do we not do eat we them? Do we eat yellowtail kingfish? Yes or no? So my answer would be no. How about this? Is that a rock? I don't know. Do we eat it? I eat nothing. You eat nothing? Yeah, he just lives off love and light and sunshine. Ooh, lots of rain. And lots of rain. Lots of rain yes, that's, yeah. yes, yes. So that's what he lives off. Like he literally does not eat. So what life update should I put in my channel? Should I just film myself editing videos all day? Yeah, so like I can me do on the that. chair doing that and yeah. Yeah, yeah and, and, and editing our first date footage. <laughs> yes. You'll be behind there, Andrew. Edit your first date yes. footage. Yes. Mm -hmm. With a whip. Like <laughs> That's a different type of channel. <laughs>
So more of the story, do not eat fish. Yes, because exactly. Because fish contain microplastics ah. that are bad for you, and this other thing called life, which we don't want to take away from that. Yes, but do eat the rock if you if you're really hungry. I mean, I'm sure there's some... Green algae, we can do that. Yes, yes, we can do that. What the fuck is this? Tetrakili. <laughs> Tetrakili. Tetrakili. Purpose of sense. So it's, it seems to have a purpose, mm -hmm. this thing. I think this is what it's trying to say. <laughs> what else do we have here on the board? Why is there no turtle? There's more. Oh, there is more. I've never seen the... Oh. Green turtle. Can you pronounce your little French name? Celonia Midas. You know that already, yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> You're not in the picture. Actually, you should be holding that. You're the cameraman. I mean, why, why, why How do did I tilt you this? hire you? Yes, tilt it. Why did you hire me? Yes. How do I tilt it? Yes, like this. Like that? Mm -hmm. Now it's like that way. I need to adjust my sock. I'm having a sock malfunction here. <laughs> Alright, so we are at Shelly Beach, which is right here, and Manly Beach is right there. <laughs> and then she's having a sock malfunction. And I'm walking away from the fish board to have you get a good view of her sock malfunction. So my secret message for you today is, and that was the secret message that I recorded for you today. <laughs> I know your secret message. Right? What's my secret message? They are not, they are not mine usually. Just... <laughs> wow. And why am I so short also? Like I'm getting shorter and shorter. Because you're standing down there and okay. I'm up here. Imagine if we're the same height. Got a thumbnail. I think the thumbnail will be the burger picture. Ah, uh, yes. Yes. Probably. Mm -hmm. So what else <clears throat> is on my life updates? Ah uh, yes, exactly. So video editing for two days. Yeah, I was telling you the other day, like this was the first time in like five years where my schedule was just completely open. Because I was always either working or doing something else or traveling or social responsibilities or Christmas responsibilities. But excuse me, but you were working the whole time, so... But video editing for my documentary, it's not like working. It's like ah. when you find your purpose, it's not working, right? Oh, okay, okay, okay. So like if I was working for a client or doing something I had to do for business, it's it's separate from editing the videos because I enjoy doing that. Uh -huh, uh -huh. It's like my creative outlet. Okay. Because like, what is it, 7.30 in the morning yesterday I started working. And then I was working until probably about 11.30 at night. Mm -hmm. And I was actually more energized at the end than I was in the beginning, which is a complete contradiction of when I was working in the corporate world like 10 years ago, uh -huh, uh -huh. where I just get exhausted after the first three hours and just like be out of it for the day. But I think if you work on something important enough, then it just it energizes you. And I think everybody should find that in life, in my opinion. Yes. I, what is it I for you? This is, this is one of the things that I like most about you, apart from that you're American. That's... That we have the same um, the same attitude towards work, working hard in a nine to five job and then I don't know getting recognition from other people who do the same sort of things and then I don't know just and the universe brings people into your life that are similar to you exactly and then you're stuck in this and you just <clears throat> think this is how it is and you never really question it did you tell them the story about how we actually met no you tell them. What is it? It's January now? I so back in October, at yeah, the end of October and early November, I take the train down from Sydney to Melbourne, which is probably like a 12 hour Melbourne. bus ride away, Melbourne. And then I was filming a PETA event, just completely randomly got invited there. Then a week later, I go to the day of action protest where there's all these animal rights actions in the city that day. I was filming for my documentary and at the very end, there was one of the speakers standing in the middle of like a crowd of people. And then I was standing there filming her. And then I realized she was at that same exact event. She was going through her Facebook photos and she took a picture of that speaker. And the only thing you could see in her photo were my shoes. Like, I was like, see, those are my shoes. And um, then I went through my footage last night and you were there wearing your white shirt. And so how far away is Melbourne? Like, 900 kilometers and then we were like right next to each other there we'd never said hi we never Nothing. really acknowledged each other Nothing. thank you very much <laughs> then uh you didn't even notice me 
then, what was it, November, like two months later, that's when she randomly shows up at a vegan picnic in Sydney, and then um, a couple days later, we realized we were the same spot, so that's how we first met. But did it randomly show up, or did it show up because you bought a crystal to attract me into your life? True. Hey, Crystal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I need to see that crystal. You do. Do you have it right now? Do you want to attract someone else? Or? No, I left it at home because, okay. yeah. Because? Because I just want to attract someone else at home. Oh, okay. I'm just going to randomly knock on the door. Okay, yes, yes, I see. You're the view videographer? Here we have the view. Okay, Donna, I almost hit you in the face with it. And then um, your dream house is up there? So see here, on this walk, I did my last video, <clears throat> the how I got to Sydney video. Ooh, maybe you should tell them how you got to Sydney. Uh, by plane. How did I get to Sydney? So I was supposed to come here as a tourist for three months in 2020. So my flight was on March 6th, 2020, flying from North Carolina to Boston, to Qatar, to Sydney. Six days before my flight, I had to get emergency appendix surgery. I don't know that. Yeah. Oh no, And then so the first thing I asked the doctor when they said I needed emergency surgery was, can I fly to Sydney in six days? And apparently, like, for four days after the surgery, that's how you have to rest. Okay. Is this your dream house up here? Uh, yes, it is. The blue one. Yeah, I'm going to own that in a minute. You're going to own that one? <laughs> Ooh. So what's your plan to afford that dream home? Oh, no, I just got a cash converter, some box of jewelry. Mm. Oh, good idea. She's relying on lottery. I'm relying on documentary production, so... One of, us, one of us will get there, so if you buy it before us, then sell it to us in a couple years. I mean, awesome. It looks like a big house. I mean, we can all live you know, there happily. One, mm -hmm. one, one day. One day. Have a good one. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> okay, that's our future. So movement. that is, was it? You know the urgency when they try to sell houses? I was trying to rent out an apartment in uni. And I really loved it. And the lady I said, okay, I'll make my decision within a week. And the lady selling is like, oh, we have five other people looking at it. Like, if you want, you have to make an offer right away. And literally I was calling her up at like 10 o'clock at night. I was like, hey, we're ready to rent out this apartment. Don't do it to anyone else. And like, she pretty much uses like a sales technique. Yeah. And like, I was super like moved by it. And I was calling her up when she's like sleeping and everything. <laughs> so got the apartment, so. So we will also get the blue house. But he's the scarcity. We're, he's our competition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True. Yeah. But what was his plan? To sell stolen jewelry or what was yeah. it? <laughs> I think we have a much more practical solution. I think so too. You're going to be famous with your YouTube channel. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> and why are you holding it like this? And now I have to correct like, you again. No, I like the angle. Ah, you like the angle. Ah, because I'm smaller than you. So like, yeah, okay. we're both. Okay. But um. Because I mean, I learned my lesson. Remember the end of my op opening sequence? where it's like the candles lit and everything. Yeah. Um, I like how it was angled there because it just gave it a cool, like, different effect. Okay, okay, okay. But, uh, I trust you now and I won't question anything. No question things, that's, yes. that's good. Because if I'm holding you upside down by accident, I want you to exactly. correct me. Yes, yes. Okay, so, but you were telling the story how you got to Australia and you said on a plane after the appending surgery. So I got here. got here and you're excited <laughs> so, um, yes I got here on March 7th 2020 then like a week or two later they closed the international borders because yeah. of COVID you made it just in time and then I just kept extending my visa to a one-year tourist visa instead of three months then I applied for emergency COVID visa where it took them 18 months to review it then I was in Melbourne the day before I met you and, well, met you we didn't talk um, I figured out they were extending my visa until the beginning of November next year, 2023, this mm -hmm. year. So this is when finally I will be able to do episodes without this guy. Oh my God. It will just be me, it will be all like peace and quiet. You're just avoiding the guilt of like giving me the bad news on like <laughs> episode 23. Yes. Yeah. So yeah, anyway, so, so this is how you got here. Yes, and on a plane. What, what plane was it? 
Ooh. Was it Qatar Airways or is there a different name? I, I don't know I don't what know. plane you came with. I came back from from a cruise. I was working on a cruise ship when COVID started mm -hmm. and just got off before they before it was a big deal. But yeah, so I came with a ship. Nice. Yes. Came here on a boat. I yes. Came here on a plane. Yes. There you go. I wonder if there's a way to come here by train. Like if they build like a big <laughs> underground railroad from like I don't know Singapore or that something. Would be that would a business idea. That'd be really cool. Somebody's gonna do that now and get extremely mm -hmm. rich and buys the blue house. Mm hey -hmm. yeah yeah. We gotta get the blue house right away. Yes. Look yes. at the big waves in the surfers. Very nice. Do you like the blue house? Shall we get it? Shall we go I have to back see the and inside. make it? Okay. Yeah, I have never seen the inside. It smells so nice. I mean, you smell yeah. nice. Mm -hmm. But also the... the nice. yeah, I also had a shower. Actually, I actually had a bath. Mm. <laughs> I think I will put music over this part. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Vicky, run away to Sicilani. <laughs> mayday, mayday. <laughs> I can't understand the wor uh, only water. <laughs> Something like the northern side of the flag. Can you do an Aussie accent? Save water. Excuse me. <laughs> and there you go. Save fair dinkum, mate. Fair dinkum. Is this a trick? No, it's just it would make you look sound more Aussie. And you want to live here, so you Is need to German? be able to say. No. What? Oh, you've never heard that. Fair dinkum, mate. It's like no worries. Fair dinkum mate. There you go. Not bad, not bad. So we just said goodbye after our third date. And I'm heading back home and it's like really cold and grey now. <laughs> but we had a lot of fun in the rain. And I will see him again on Saturday. But now he's heading home to do some more editing work. And I, I'm heading home and I will also edit this video. Got off this ferry, and it was a little bit of a near-death experience. 
it was really horrible. Like I was screaming my head off. I was probably screaming the loudest. The kids opposite me were really scared as well, and I probably wasn't much comfort to them. <laughs> but it was horrible. Like it was really like I like big waves, but this was a little bit extreme. And it was like I still feel sick in my stomach, and it was literally in free fall between waves, and then even bigger waves would come after, and I. I did not enjoy that. I don't know if you can hear, but I did not enjoy that. I mean, it, <clears throat> probably for somebody who likes roller coasters, it would be a fun experience. I could recommend it to brave people, but to people like me who are yeah, a little bit sensitive to like really fast movements, whoa. But on the bright side, I did survive, yay. All I can say after this experience is it's good to be alive. <laughs> so, if you're visiting Sydney and you want to have a roller coaster experience, just wait for bad weather where we've got high waves, jump on the fast ferry to Manly and enjoy. Thanks guys for watching, see you in the next video, bye!